Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. In today's lesson, we will introduce you to find function in Microsoft Excel. The find function in Microsoft Excel returns the position of a specified character or substring within a string. The function is case sensitive, so if the text or its punctuation does not exactly match, then the substring or text will not be found and the find function will return to value error. Also it does not allow any wildcard character. The function takes three arguments. First, find text is the text or substring that you wish to find but note it cannot contain any wildcard characters. Second, within text is the text or string in which you want to find the text or substring. The last one is start number. It is an optional one. It is the position in within text string from where the search should begin. If omitted, it is assumed to be 1. Let's have a look at the Excel sheet. Here we have some dummy data sets in cell A7 and A8. And we will put the function in cell B7 and B8 to get the desired output. Now, let us show you how find function works. Go to cell B7 and type equal find. As we type find in Excel, we can see Excel is prompting us the name of the function as we type and here is the description of find function. It says return the starting position of one text string within another text string. Find is case sensitive. Let us show you what this means. So we hit tab, it auto completes the function and it takes three arguments as we talked about earlier. So let's say we want to find the position of E, capital E in cell A7 which contains text excellent excel help forum comma select the cell A7 as a second argument comma and we want the search for substring to start from the beginning of this text so we enter one or we can skip as well as we said this is the optional argument now close the parenthesis and enter and it gives us one because capital E is the first alphabet of this word escape but if we change the starting number in the last argument let's say to 2 and hit enter the function returns to 11 because as we have said in the function that the starting position for finding text is going to be 2 so it starts looking from excellent excel help forum however it gives us the 11th position of the overall string which means while counting it does count the first e while we have skipped it here when we mentioned Two. Now let us show you if we type small x in the same function. Double click on it to get into the edit mode. And now change from capital E to small x. And the last argument, let's change it to the default one. And hit enter. It gives us two because small x is the second alphabet in this world. But when we put asterisk sign before small x in the function, the function returns to value error because find does not allow any wildcard character so what if we do not find anything and skip the first argument as planned so clear this cell equal sign find so we'll skip the first argument and select the cell within we want to find the string in second argument so we'll select a7 as a second argument comma the third and last argument either as we said like we can leave blank or we can type one so in this case we'll type one close the parenthesis and hit enter as moment as we hit enter the function returns to one because it is not looking for anything in the text a7 and returning to the default value from where the search is beginning so let's say if we change the third argument starting number to two and hit enter the function will return to two because as we said it is not looking for anything in this cell so returning to the starting position from where the search is beginning now we will find Excel in cell A8. So go to B8, equal sign, find, hit tab, type Excel, comma, select cell A8 and one in the third argument, close the parenthesis, hit enter. As soon as we hit enter, it gives us value error because remember, this is case sensitive function. So here we type Excel, E is the capital letter. However, in this cell A8, the entire text is in small letters so that is why it function returns to value error so that's how we can use the find function in various way we hope you found this lesson informative we shall meet again in our next lesson till then happy learning and have a nice day